Hey, 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 let's jump into that live chat so everybody can have their messages. Oh, I'm giving all the sauce away, bro. <laughs> the sauce, the sauce is out, bro. Let's fucking let's let's eat let's even the let's even the playing field and see who really got the juice. What up, bang? Here we go. All right, so let's let's get drastic. Yo, what happened to my industry music? Oh, here it is right here. I got Armando up in this bitch. So this shit right here, this is my favorite shit. Like, I wish I could sit in a, like, I wish I could sit in a concert hall and listen to this. Obviously, I'll probably be, uh, I probably like, um, probably would have ate some shrooms or something like that to make it really lit. But this is, <laughs> I love this shit, bro. So you kind of first, what I like about it is the intervals. I like I like the tension. It's it's uh it's it's it, it, it's it's beautiful, but it's dissonant. Um, so what I gotta do? Do you need to get the Arturia collection if you already have Omnisphere? Daryl. Um. Here's the thing, bud. What are you doing with Omnisphere right now? How much music are you making a week? Let's have a talk. While you're typing that up, um, the what I do is I'll listen is I'll listen to this and and you kind of uh and you kind of uh you kind of break it down, right? Into into what instruments are being used and then that way once you kind of have once you kind of have that idea in your head of what instruments are being used you cut out the whole sound selection uh, vibe of it right so I know that I'm going to the beginning I got piano got a low guitar strings high octave guitar so that could be like a bell if I wanted to switch that out so <clears throat> so here is the uh, so then so then here's the vibe right so I got I got Omnisphere you, bro j j j all right, so Omnisphere don't want to play with me today. You, 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 Omnisphere is gonna have to relax. We're just gonna, you're, you're done. All right, so I got Arturia. <laughs> you make a couple beats. You make a couple beats a week because of your work schedule. All right. Daryl, what do you do with those couple beats a week you make? So I'm going to get me... First thing we're going to do is set everything up. We'll get a grand piano. I'll just get the basic large American studio. I'll sauce it later if I got to. Shit, but I need atmosphere because I need the fucking guitars. <laughs> ah! Alright, I got I got strings and Selena. Okay. 
Prophet will take care of those weird those weird bell plucks. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give old Omnisphere one more shot. Yeah, we could do the clavy. I use some I use them with some local artists in Detroit where we live. Alright, so so you're making oh my god so you're making you're making beats for locals right um you're you're uh, the people that you're working with are you getting are you getting feedback from them are they uh are they are they saying that that they're not liking the sounds of your beats That's a bruh. Q. That is a uh, that is a that is that's something that that that's something that you got to uh, that you got to figure out on your own, bro. Like you have to go like like first you have to figure out if you can hear the difference right because not everybody can hear the difference you know what i mean um and then uh and 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 then once you see uh once you see if you can hear the difference then you need to figure out is that difference big enough for you to um, get the, uh, if, 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 if that difference is big enough for you to, uh, to make that investment, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, if you have a thing for getting as many sounds as possible, then, then you really, then you really don't need my take on it. You're just gonna, you're just gonna buy it. If you could hear it and you like it, then what I would advise is uh, not to buy a fucking deep mind. You know what I mean? Like get the real thing. You know, it depends on it. De it depends on what you like about uh, oh, what you like about um, what you like about analog. You know what I mean? Like the thing that the thing that I like about analog is the detuning. And the prophet is the most ugly, disgusting, um, detune, detune synth out. So, you know, I spent, uh, you know, first, of, first I bought the Moog mono joint because, you know, that's, oh, you got to have a Moog and I love it. It's fire. You know, it's great for my, it's great for my 808 packs. It's great for bass, but it's the, it, it's not what I want to use every day. I want to use the prophet every day. I want to I want to run sitcom piano on everything. John, you ain't. I'm telling you, everybody doesn't notice it, and we have a tendency to think that our experience is 
is um is similar to a lot of people. I know I know I'm a weirdo, bro. Deep mind is the same cost as as Omnisphere. The only the only reason why I don't why I don't fuck with like why I never buy the uh, the entry level shit or the or or the cheapo version of the shit is because if you wind up liking it, you're just gonna want the real one eventually, and then you could never you can never sell the cheapo one for for uh for what you um for what you wanted that's the that's the only reason why i don't like that shit so let me get let me get a piano right let's get the wash DeepMind isn't a Juno clone, bro. De De DeepMind's a Profit clone. Oh, John, <laughs> John, we're on it, bro. <laughs> it's a Jeff Basker. <laughs> Yo, you <bet. laughs> Yo, MG's funny, bro. All right, so we needed a, we needed a guitar, we needed a piano, we needed some strings. I I no, I know, I know you value you value our opinions. This shit makes me very uncomfortable because I don't like I don't like telling people how to spend their money. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. I always be I, I always be telling y'all not to buy anything and and if you do buy something buy the most fucking expensive thing possible that way uh that way you get the most out of it. All right, so I got I got a I got a piano. I got the guitar. I got I got that guy and I got strings. So let's go back Let us go back. Armando. What up, Dre? What up, King? Um, uh, S class per per their EULA, you can't. But I'm not. I'm not a. I ain't worried about it anymore. Cause fucking Kingsway is doing that shit. 
Internet money's doing that shit. Drip cords doing that shit. So, dog, if they come for me, I'm taking everybody down, bro. And for the purposes of streaming, this is just it's just easier to use software. If I was doing this for real, I'd be on a profit. How do I know? <laughs> okay, how do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I just, I just make stuff up, right? How do I know? Which one of these dumbasses did it? See this you see this name right here? Profit V3. That's the name of a VST. Contact. Vindog, that's a that's an Arteria VST. Omnisphere Omnisphere 64 bit. Omnisphere 64 bit. Boom 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 boom. They had a uh, they had a quality control issue here with the with the file naming buddy fucked up let y'all let y'all know the sauce so this guy this guy who created this when when they told you that they used all this vent all this vintage gear we uh we got the lie detector test back <coughs> and it was a lie maury said it, maury said that was a lie you used vsts bubba vinny x enough to fuck with right <laughs> vintage omnisphere 1.0 right <laughs> yeah they would use an atmosphere <laughs> fuckers so first things first we'll take this guy command emit And we see that we are in the C to the minor. I just take this, hold down Alt, drag it to some shit I'm not going to use. And we'll just take the VST off. So they're doing like I, so, bro. The fucking uh. One thing, one thing that you guys will want to get nice with when you're doing like hacking and 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 using uh and using um. Uh, when you're doing hacking and you're using reference tracks, is is getting is getting into counting like counting beats, counting the instruments. So I'm listening. I'm listening to the piano because I'm gonna hack that right, and I'm hearing it. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. So I, so I know that's my rhythm, right? The next thing that I'm looking at is I'm looking at uh, how spread out the chords are and what they're doing. Um, and typically, you know, when you're doing when you're doing with a, uh, I'm I'm on a Mac, bro. You see the you see this right there? Those are Mac. So um, so the deal is I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at, and I'm looking at the octaves, right? Like this is like, these are, these are two octave chords. When you're in C natural minor, you see it, they've got, they're hitting the first, the fifth, and then the third, 
they've bounced that up instead of instead of drawing it tight right here they've bounced that up into the next octave and then they're vamping it when you know when they come down to that second beat so once I, so once i see that shape i'm like all right boom so you know fuck your scale i'm gonna go into a scale i'm gonna go into a scale that i like and uh i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my piano over here i'm gonna do something similar let's see we'll do fours so d sharp that's the first this is the fifth this is the third let me mute this guy So let's see. I think I want to go into four right here. Four. Four six one. Drop this one down. Uh, drop this one down. We'll take this one up. And then we'll do we'll do one four one five, right? So that's bing 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 bing. Five is five. Seven two. Take these guys out, run this guy here, run this guy up, run that guy down. Uh, okay, okay, all right. I'm liking it. Remember, don't uh, when you're trying to like do this shit, try try to think and replicate how like somebody would really play the piano. Um, they're gonna be running that sustain pedal, so you don't want to have like chop staccato notes. Octavia's up in here. Grimy Needle's up in here. What's up? What's up? Trey Man up in here. What's up, bro?
<laughs> CFPs get off said just get Arteria. <laughs> oh god damn it man. Want this MG? Pause. enjoy it yeah i know right so we could do we could do what mg's talking about uh go into easy keys import this get even more melodies out of that um i don't want to do that in in this in this stream i'm gonna uh i'm gonna do that in another stream baby steps everybody so for everybody that doesn't have easy keys the next thing I next thing I'll do is I'll go back to this guy. So I'm listening. I'm listening. I and I'm hearing guitar note here. I'm hearing one, two, three, four, five. Actually, no. It's boom. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So on two, four, five, and six, right? Bomb. So let's go into. Let's go into Omnisphere, run the ghost notes. This guitar needs to relax, but two four five six all right now i just got to pick a cool guitar This better be a very cool guitar. <laughs> Take it forever to load. Let me run this up an octave, see what we got. Cause I don't want this shit to sound like fucking American Eagles, bro. That shit sounded like like goddamn Ford trucks and Confederate flags. I'm straight. It'll be 
available. I'm on my four horsemen shit. bass coming in and then a little bit more counter melody movement so I think in order to spoof that I'm going to I'm gonna just drop this down an octave <laughs> at drift <laughs> uh, let me uh let me just take this my steel Lagovia bro where you at dog mm, vintage <laughs> vintage gear what's that move what's that motif sound like A little, a little syncopation, hey. Okay, me likey. Boom. So we got rhythms. <laughs> Let's just find the notes. This is original. I'm staying so woke right now.
<laughs> Indeed, brother. And now, this, this is where the strings come in. Now I don't need you anymore because I know because I know where I want to take it. MG, you see my audio marketplace? Not only can't you make original music, but your trolls ain't original either. Alright, so now I'll take this. I'll take this guy. I'll run these down here. <laughs> we'll bring the guitar back in. And you see how I'm not, like, stressing um, the whole the whole like you know what sounds am I using right now shit um that is by design I, I I break the process up into up into sound design and like uh you know first the you know first I get you know first I get the uh, the music right and then I'll do the sound design First thing we'll work on is this this fucking stupid sounding guitar uh, presets effects styles let's see what jazz has for me to this baby right here and run this <laughs> Sounds way too clean. We gotta put some. Uh, we gotta put some vintage gear on it. Mm, hear that vintage tone?
Dixie, you want a retro sound, right? <laughs> so let's give it retro vibes. God, it sounds so retro. God, we're so retro right now. guy right here you know what it needs need some Valhalla and uh, you know this is the 70s right you know and we want ambience so let's do that You should have fucked with my monetization, bro. You come for my pockets, I come for yours, bro. Let's go. Sheila. So now we need a. The original sample was Armando Travoli. I'm not adding the fucking vape sound. Um. Yeah, this is original. <laughs> Losers. So now, you know, we got to, uh, you know, we got to use, we got to use tape. Fifteen IPS. MG's right, I'm tripping. Hold on. Nah, fuck that that bro, that shit is so goofy. Let me try it. I've, I haven't tried that shit in a while. Yeah, let's get some noise. Let's get some crosstalk too. Need crosstalk, right? God, this is so vintage, man. You know why stop there let's uh you know this is european so we'll use we'll use the london drive right Use that uh let's use that British G console. If you know, you know. And now 
you know, if you want to get the real feel. Let's just, let's go all the way. <laughs> Too much salsa, bro. Take this shit. Those strings are from uh, output analog strings because everything's got to be analog. Okay. What the fuck you mean you can't do trap to this? the originality in this one. So now you just take this, you name it something, something exotic. Oh, Curtis is going off on Twitter. He's ready to argue. No, nobody's going to at you, Curtis. I love you. <laughs> Yo, Crab yeah, Crabtree's finna sign nah Kingsway's finna sign me, bro. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna sign me and they're gonna put it in the clause that I gotta delete all these videos. <laughs> and so we'll call this we'll call this uh we'll call this palm tree because it's gotta you have to name you have to name your beats something ambiguous. And I'm gonna just name it palms. No, I'm going to name it Vintage Palms. No, I'm going to name it Vintage De Palma. Woo! There we go. Put your BPM. And then because I'm not a fuckboy, I'm going to add the key too. And now look at me. Look at me, I have a sample pack. Nah, not that Curtis Ben.
Yeah, yeah but banger, you fix that in the uh, you fix that in post. You know what I mean? You just you 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 make them you make them however you're vibing, and then and then when you get ready to when you get ready to finalize your pack, you put them in. You you could put them in the project uh, view if you want, or <coughs> I do the same thing, but I'll just I'll drop these in here. You know what I mean? I'll just drop I'll just drop another audio track, and you know boost the gain. EQ match if I want, but. But that's no, we're not gonna get flooded with cheesy packs, bro. You guys are gonna stop fucking around and pay attention to what me and MG are telling you, bro. Stop, stop trying to sell beats. The fuck you selling beats for, bro? Sell, sell melodies to producer. You know what I mean? Cause you can, you can, do, cause think about it. You could do that, right? You could do that, or we could go, or we could go to this piece of shit. We go over here. We could we could run over to splice. We could go to sounds, and we could and we could pick up jazz flutes. Because everybody still wants to make mask off, right? You know what I'm saying these. These 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 boys are late. So what you do? What you do is you look at you look at what's being given. It really still looks cool. <laughs> but you look at you look at what's being given. Like that's like like boom. That's your that, that's your first pack. That's your lead off pack. That's what you're that, that's what you're trying to sell me on. That shit right there is still is still the majority of the stuff that we're, that we're getting. This is what the this is what they're giving us for trap. Yeah, that's trap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, 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 so your 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 in your inundation of uh, of uh, of um, you know a million garbage packs is here, right? So this is like because because of the price point of splice, and because of because of because of the availability to it and because there's already so many stories of like i went on splice and got this loop and made a hit the creation process is normalized to use loops yo like back like back the first time i start like because i've been making sample packs for a while like low key i i used to um i mean dude i have uh Fuck, I forgot who I was working with, but I got I I signed to somebody's somebody's little click and I made like I made like a T minus type pack. I made I, I I made um I made a 40 type pack and stuff like that. And back then using loops using loops was like um you know back in back in 2010 using loops was like oh you using loops like even rappers would tweet about like i don't want to fuck with no producer that uses loops now we're in a space where that shit has been normalized it's you know it's what we do it's looked as it's looked at as more of like a collab thing so so if you can if you could put yourself to where if you could put yourself as an alternative to this shit you don't want to like aim to be on splice. You want to aim to be. You want to aim to be a boutique. Jersey Shore sync deals. I don't mean by you guys. I mean by other people's on the low. <laughs> that watch on the low and try to imitate. Nah, yeah, nah. This, yeah, but. Yeah, and that's the yeah, and that's the thing, King David. I mean, King Davis, you already know you're doing this shit, bro. Like, 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 King, like King Davis is already on board. But this is this is this is such a um, 
this is such a more this is such a like a more easier and functional way i wouldn't even say like it's easier in the fact that um producers producers are more prone like industry rappers industry rappers typically like to work within their circle but industry producers are always are are always looking for uh, are always looking for new vibes so it's it's really easy to get into the door um of that circle through uh, uh through um through this uh, through this type of thing and like um and like and, and like how Jayon was saying earlier you know he didn't he didn't think that it was going to be this easy like it was going to be hard like no this shit isn't hard like like uh like mg was saying you just you just have to find you just have to find your inspiration you find your inspiration and you hack it like uh, like i really like i really like pretty much every composition that armando has put out like the i like that his you know the way that the way that he uses dissonance and contrasts it with pianos guitars and strings that shit that shit to me is like wu-tang it, it reminds me of wu-tang so so that communicates well with me and i you know i can analyze that stuff and based off of you know based off of how i analyze it i can create different motifs and different scales and different um you know you, you know different lineups and stuff like that so you just you just have to find out what it is for you like if you're like if you like r&b you know what i mean fucking fucking run them r&b loops dude you know go into Go into them old Jodeci songs. Go into the, you know, go into whatever era that you're into, and then and then take it even further. You know, research what their inspiration is and go back to that. A freak it, a freak it, and flip them. Yeah, <laughs> run them Rodney Jerkins, bro. All day. Dank brisket, what up, bro? It's the first time I seen. It's the first time I seen you comment, bro. Welcome, welcome to the fold. Yeah, dude, like like if you're a Ryan Leslie guy and and I mean I mean bro, we've been showing you the shit the shit to put it together, you know, you get all you guys all all, all you guys should have Melodyne editor by now. If you don't, you're fucking playing with yourself. All you guys should have scaler by now. The way that the way that I have my scaler set up, I, I didn't do it with this one because I, I, I have this song already saved, but the way I have my scaler set up is I all of these like you see this this uh, KW 801 802 803 you know these are th these are chords that I ripped from sample packs and then I just save them take that vamp it out make melodies do the you know do the same shit with this I've made the video it's on studio one tutorials.com but basically you just basically really all you need is is melodyne melodyne editor that's the most important thing melodyne editor and scalar scalar will, scalar will save your chord sets like i take like i take uh now that i have this sound set built and that's that's the other important thing is you know a lot of these a lot of these samples when you get into this bag a lot of these samples they're created um they're created by bands you know who all have the same instruments so you gotta you keep that uh you keep that in mind so if i take scalar and i you know and i want to take this chord progression man get the hell out of my way bro What scalar say that was D major? So we just take this and start running it out.
exactly King Davis. Because they're all looking for it. They're all they're all looking for it, you know. And there's even like if you pay attention on Twitter, stop searching for stop searching for send beats. Like there's people there's people there's people out there saying send melodies. Yeah, no, you guys, th th that's what's crazy. You guys see it. You guys see it. Fucking act on it, bro. Act on it. Like you, like you've been watching all these MG, MG the Future tutorials and you, and it, you know, and you're trying to. He's he's giving you the he's giving you the tools to be the most prolific most prolific loop factory and you're over here trying to make fucking trap beats, bro. crazy bro nobody listens to me <laughs> they're like fuck that guy he cusses too much hear how original this sounds bro no bro he did not bro <laughs> me and mg co-produced that shit dog 
I've been I've been telling I've been telling people to make the Meek Mill album since 2016, bro. What would MG do? Stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> he said new window tutorials. Ben, if you got Studio One, then you could then you could uh, you could struggle this with the chord track, bro. You just you just drag your sample up here, and it'll give you the chords. And then you just draw C major chords, have uh, set your shit to follow chords, and then you'll have the chords. And then you just you just do what I do, because this this type of this type of um, this type of this type of creation that I'm using right here, yeah, Studio One has everything you need, bro. Um, Studio One is the hack factory. Um, it, once you have the chords, everything else is easy because all of this type of music, it's all, it's all like strict following the chords, layering sounds. It's not a whole bunch of, it's not a whole bunch of moving in and out with passing tones and shit like that. You know, you just, you just make, you know, way cooler stuff than internet money loops. That's the, uh, but it's, it's the same process. Parappa had bars, bro. Y'all crazy.
Yeah, dude, you get that shit for sixteen bucks a month, bro. <laughs> and it's Studio One Pro. It's not. It, it it's not Studio One Lightweight, dog. So, I mean, <sighs> Look, no, mach no machine slander on my channel, bro. But this isn't <laughs> like, bro, this shit, this shit is, this shit is not hard. Like it's, you know. I don't know how far I am into the stream, but you know, that was like 40 minutes worth of work. You make, <clears throat> you make a couple samples, you know, you could sit here. I could do like in, in like a little four or five hour se session. I could do, I could do 10 or 12 of these easy, especially, especially once you have your hack set up. Um, yeah, loops loops are way more fun because you don't have to you, you you you're real free. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to you don't have to like like when you make a beat and you're like you sat down, you're like you think about a rapper or you think about a genre, you know, and then and then you you restrict yourself when you go into when you go in when you go into making loops, you just you just kind of make what sounds cool, you know, and you just and you just roll from there. Now, notice what I did there. I used I used all the same presets. I used all the same bus processing, um, it, all the same effects, but these it, these aren't the same. You, these aren't the same. So you can it's you know you you could take a you could take a sound set like this. And uh, if you're in Studio One, this is this is this is the real sauce, right? So if you're in Studio One, um, you could take you could take MIDI files, and what you do is you organize your shit. Um, so let's see sample packs. And I'll call this uh, I'll call this bands, right? So in my bands folder, I'll make a I'll make a new folder, and I'll call this Armando's Orchestra, right? And then in Armando's Orchestra. I'll make another folder and I'll call it guitar piano string tension so I could take these MIDI files right here and it doesn't matter what's in the MIDI files but I could take these MIDI files here and you see I have two choices. I have music loop and I have MIDI file. You export it as a music loop. Okay, so now so now I have these music loops, right? 
And a music loop is dope because when you play the when you play the um the preview of it it plays you it what it does is it saves it saves an audio um an audio reference of of what the actual midi loop is so you don't so you don't just hear general midi so i can take i could take these right here remove selected tracks and instruments all right and just remove all that shit and then i could go into i could go into armando's orchestra drag this drag this back um just drag this back into my session and not only does it bring back the midi Of course, I got the fucking. Ugh. But what I'm, but what I'm showing you is not only does it bring back the MIDI, but it brings back, it brings you back the VST. Right, it brings you back the VST with the with the settings that you had on the VST. Okay. Not only does it bring that back, ah, fuck. But not only, not only does it bring back the VST, but it also brings back your insert effects. So if you had guitar rig on it, if you had RC20 on it, whatever, whatever was on your channel strip, it saves the volume of the channel strip. It saves the sends that was on your channel strip. It saves, it saves the inserts and it saves, and it also saves the routing. So all those are so if you have a template like like my template where it's everything's routed to the band bus, it's it, the, those music loops that you drag back in will be will be back in. So this little this little uh, this little crash that I had um, is of is of no consequence because I could just open Studio One back up and drag in those music loops. So anyways, guys, I, uh, I hope that we learned something. I hope it was revolutionary for all you people. I hope you guys, I hope you guys get into making loops and I hope you guys get into making, you know, like fucking cool shit. And, uh, you know, that's why, uh, <clears throat> that's why you know that's why that's why that's why we're getting the that's why we're getting the lunch boxes that's why we got the npcs because anybody you know as as you could see from from the kingsway packs and, and, and anybody can grab arturia anybody could get reels and 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 slate and and spoof the analog vibe but uh But, um, you know, to do it, to do it for real, to set yourself apart, you might need to invest. But the thing is, you could come out, you can make your new packs, you know what I mean? Um, give them to free, get, give them away for free to, uh, to do that. King, I, I, I thought, of, I, I thought about doing it with my first one and I did add it with my first one. And then, um, you know, after just seeing the climate of everything, I was like, man, fuck this, they, they, you know, I, you know, everything royalty free. Um, but with the relationships that you make with producers, obviously, you know, it's, uh, 
it's a crapshoot. People are either going to do good business or they're going to do bad business, you know. And that and that process is long. Like I'm going to I'm going to bring on I'm going to bring on a producer um who's one of my protégés. He worked uh, he worked on a song that uh that's on the A Boogie album. What the fuck is it? Which song is it? It's this one. Hit me. So that uh that guitar that you hear is um that guitar that you hear is played is played by Robert Banks, right? Dude, these credits are so trash, bro. Like, like, why don't like why aren't the producers on here? But he's a uh, he's with a he's with a uh, a production. See, this this one has has the uh, has the has the full credits. It's so weird. Like, some of them have the full credits, and some of them don't. But anyway, um, he's with a production group called Bangas, and um, he. Uh, yeah but it, that's well I, I mean that's what happens when you play instruments you know you have a you have a chord you have a chord database and then you just vamp it in a different way so he ran you know he he ran this he he, went, he played his guitar i know it sounds nice ooh you're going to fall into my trap and yeah i love my baby mother but if she fuck and he made a he made a beat with it um, sent it, you know, sent it to his boy. His boy has the, uh, his, his boy is personal friends with Boogie's manager. So he has, he, he has that plug right there. And, um, you know, his boy, his boy took his beat, flipped it, you know, put his contribution to it, placed the beat and everything. So, you know, Robert Blake has a placement on, uh, on, you know, on, a on, on a you know on a big on a big hip hop release something you know something that was super anticipated um but the process of getting paid and everything is a is a super long process and through and through this experience you know you find out you find out who's going to do who's going to do good business and who's not going to do good business this was this song took 6 months to can, to come out and and the whole time the whole time they were doing it he's asking me questions like yo should i get a contract should i do this should i do that and i'm just like bro you know that's your friends he, he this guy lives a couple blocks down from me actually um you know it, that's your friend he's either gonna do good business or bad business see how it pans out you know and and, and buddy has been a hundred up until this point but like i said it takes the for the money to come in it takes it takes a while um and what you have to do in these situations is you have to stay um you want to stay conducive to the cre to the creativity um pro yeah king davis that's the, i agree 100% um you have to stay you, you have to stay um a conduit to to creativity and and the way to the way to fuck up those situations is to you know start putting disclaimers on shit um you know start start shoving contracts and shit because the way that the, the the way that somebody who has a plug to an artist looks at it at they look at it as they're helping you and they're doing you a favor um there's always ego involved and you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to rock that situation because this is another situation where where you need this person you need this producer to you know to help you with this situation just like this producer needs this rapper like like these boys right here like this goes back to the conversations that that we were talking about like <clears throat> like bob couldn't like like if bob thought he was the most important person in this situation you know he wrote the melody to that this this beat you hear it it's the guitar bro another nigga i won't ever ever touch her you know the drum beat is super simple anybody could have put that together um so so he's so if he would have came out that's my guitar melody you know i need you know i need to know what my split is i need to know what my advance is we need to sign this to that 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 other but buddy could have been like you know what dude i got the plug uh you know you're you're making this a little bit too difficult for me i'm just going to i'm just going to get a spice loop he he could have did that you know 
So, but I'm gonna have him on a. Uh, I'm gonna have him on a. I, I, I talk to him. Um, I'm gonna have him on a live stream soon, so you can. Uh, so, so you guys can. Uh, so you guys can hear firsthand from somebody who actually does what I'm talking about. So y'all don't just like. So y'all don't just like think like I'm just like making stuff up out here. Um, why do I do title versus iTunes? <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm, I'm I'm giving my money to Jay, bro. I'm not giving my money to fucking Apple. I give Apple enough money. Um, what was I saying? Uh, like the next the the next record that he has coming out is a. Uh, it's a uh, it's a a boogie feature on Young Thug's next album. You know what I'm saying? So he's, you know, he's he's in there, you know, he's in there working, doing his thing, um, you know, get it, you know, you know, whopping, you know, whopping legit placements, you know, getting, you know, getting the type of placements that, you know, that that all beat makers want to get. And, um, you know, I just uh, I just paid him. I just paid him to uh, to spray my house for bugs. But he still has a day job. It's a grind. You have to be you have to be diligent, man. But if you have a good attitude, if you know how to if you know how to work with people, if you know how to not take yourself too seriously, if you get off if you get off your high horse and you and you understand that um <clears throat> you know that you're just you know that you're contributing especially it's especially in these teamwork environments you know if you you know if you realize that you, you know that you're just contributing even even if you contribute what can be perceived as the most important part of the song and you play your role good things will happen to you man thank you audio marketplace but anyway guys I smell food in the kitchen and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get up with y'all boys later. This is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com. Keep it simple, but do not be basic, and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>